now see some of the language translation tasks, right? So what I have written here is I have a quote, you know, a quote that I like from uh, uh, Swami Vivekananda, who is a very motivating quote. So I want to take this quote and translate that using chat GPT and also Google Translate and compare the performance. And then I will also take, pick like this three other, you know, uh, sentences to try to see how accurately two different, you know, translation, you know, capabilities are there in the Google Translate and chat GPT interfaces. Okay, so let me share my screen. Okay. So we'll start this. This will allow us me to name, um, you know, basically the file and also give, you know, chat GPT an indication of what is the primary task that, you know, uh, going to do. I, what I've done is like, you know, to save time, I have already, you know, written the prompts here. So you right here in this Word document, you might be seeing the prompt that I'm using, right? So what I want you to do, what I want chat GPT to do is, you know, basically take this, prompt and convert this into English. So here is the prompt that I have given, translate the following into English. And, you know, I have given some Hindi sentences and I want basically the chat GPT to, you know, uh, translate this in English. So I will press ahead and then, you know, that you can see, this is the, you know, translation that has been there. Right? Take a thought, make that thought your life, think about it, dream about it, live that thought. Let your brain, muscles, nerves, every part of your body be full of that thought and leave every other thought alone. That is the way to success, right? And this is fairly accurate translation of what, uh, you know, according to me, you know, of what is there in the Hindi version of the text that is out there. But let's take this, you know, uh, portion and also try to use this portion in a Google Translate, right? So here we have a Google Translate, you know, interface. So if you look into the, you know, uh, the website address translate.google.com and here you can select different Englishes, uh, you know, different languages here. In fact, you know, Google Translate has capability to translate in multiple different la languages. Probably uh, this is one of the good um, interface for translating among hundreds of different languages that are out there. So what I want to do is I'm pasting this and then I'm asking, you know, Google to try, translate it again. As you can see, Google also take, took some time. Uh, take an idea, make that idea of life. Think about it, dream about it, live that idea. Let your brain, muscles, nerves, every part of the body becomes immersed in that idea, and leave all other thoughts aside. This is the way to succeed. So Google Translate has also done, you know, fairly good job in translating this. And so one of the things that we can conquer from this is like at least Chat GPT has, you know, uh, you know. Uh, mm -hmm. competitive, you know, functionality when it comes to the, you know, uh, ability in translating different things. Okay. But here is another thing that I want to quickly mention that, you know, you can take, you know, uh, you can interact with this interface, right? So you can also ask intelligent questions. Right. So let's see what does, you know, chat GPT comes up with. So you can see that, you know, uh, which is a functionality that we cannot do in Google Translate. We cannot interact and we cannot query and we cannot ask other set of questions from Google Translate. Whereas chat GPT, apart from doing the translation, will also allow us to interact. It understand what has happened in terms of interaction previously and the context that is there in the previously and use that as a basis to continue this interaction where you can Right. So one of the other things that I can do is I can continue um, this interaction. Right. And this functionality is not there in Google Translate. Right. So this can then do translation and you can continue conversation. You can ask intelligent question uh, from the chat GPT interface with respect to the some of the language translation task if you want to investigate and if you want to continue the discussion that is one of the added functionality that chat gpt has which is not there in the google translate it's purely for translation you can it does not have interaction or follow-up question ability that is there in the chat gpt right um, so let me also take some other example and try to you know um, do the comparison so you know these are like slightly different um, 
you know single sentence things and what i want chat gpt to to do is translate this into english and i want to show you know some capabilities which are slightly in advanced in chat gpt right so so chat gpt does a fairly great job uh, you know it translates that i have only bo- one book so let's go and see see the translation that we might get from the so i have only one book is the translation in chat gpt it says i only have one book right so if you think about the grammatical context of you know what the chat gpt gives so it says i have only and the google translate says i only have uh, you know um, i only have one book so in terms of grammatical con- uh, you know correctness for this sentence conversion i think chat gpt is far better because this is uh, the right way to write it uh, this sentence is i have only one book right so here this is what is the output that is given by chat gpt i want to also take the second example and qualitatively compare right so this is also not so easy in this sentence to convert in language trans- translation so let me do this and so this translation her mother falls ill with cold in winters is the right translation that is there okay let's see what does google translate does in this setting so if i come here uh, i will just paste the sentence and so this says her mother falls ill in winter right it does not mention about cold uh, which is the important aspect right sardiyo mein sardi so this word cold is not being translated at all in the google translation it is doing word to word translation it is not fairly accurate whereas in this case you can see that uh, chat gpt clearly says that falls with cold right so that's an important aspect like what disease or you know what what is the sickness that has not been captured by google translate whereas you know chat gpt is able to con- you know compare uh, and catch those and do the translation which, which is contextually right and which is more meaningful than you know the google translate